purpose here. Uh, I'm a bit excited about this battle because I've been trying Bactria. This is my second battle with uh, Bactria. First battle, I might post that later, but in the first battle I came up against a Parthian build that had a lot of elephants and cataphracts and it came down to the last few units. A valiant defeat, but a defeat nonetheless. I made some mistakes in my armor composition and the way I used my forces. I went for his elephants gung-ho with my horse archers and lost too many of them. Didn't manage to make his elephants run amok inside his own lines. So I wanted to try a slightly different build because I always like to have a strong infantry corps. Uh, but in this battle I wanted to forego the infantry advantage almost completely and rely on heavy skirmishing and cavalry to do the job because I think my micromanagement can really benefit from from using cavalry more than I already am. Now I have my doubts about cavalry's ability to kill a strong Roman army like this. It looks kind of daunting. Let's have a look at what he has. He has two Sokequites backed up by Levis, two more Levis, uh, three auxiliary Syrian archers, uh, auxiliary infantry on each flank, and then he has well, one, two, three evocati, four evocati. Uh, so he has. Does he have five evocati? No first cohort? Okay, five evocati. Uh, and uh, some two more Soki equity. So I'm not worried about his uh, cavalry because I have a comfortable advantage in cavalry. So what I'm going to try to do is bring my skirmishers and elephants up here. I brought. Uh, just have a look at my build. I brought. Uh, Six Eastern Slingers, I believe, uh, four Eastern Spears, one Bactrian Royal Cavalry, one, two more, two Bactrian Royal Cavalry, and four Bactrian Noble Horse over here, together with some four Mercenary Scythian Horse Archers, and that's it. So, uh, the reason why I'm splitting up my forces like this is it's obvious I want to skirmish with my Horse Archers, give them some, prote give them some protection, and I want to, um, stuff the Roman player from just pushing his infantry up here and smashing my lines. So before that happens I want to have a comfortable skirmishing advantage and I want to take care of all his cavalry. So I'm going to send these guys around here, start to inflict some casualties, while I... the reason I'm putting my cavalry here is to prevent his uh, Syrian archers from getting too comfortable. So here I'm just going to run straight in with my... Uh, my... Um, Saving horse archers, pull out just before these levees manage to get shots in, so they're able to do some damage to the levees, especially when their backs are turned like that. And the Syrian archers will shred my horse archers, so I'm going to stay out of range. I have less range than he does, not uh, taking any casualties yet. So over here, I'm going to charge, bam, into the Soki Equites. Uh, more of my units got tangled up there than I wanted to, but I'm able to pull through with these guys. These guys get stopped, but I'm able to penetrate with these guys. So that's the really nice thing of having redundancy in cavalry. You can almost always manage to get some units through at least. So these levees are dying, and now I'm able to pull through here and charge with the uh, charge these levees and go over here. So I'm able to pull in his general now to the battle, which is going to enable me to shoot him. And uh, these Soke Equites are losing badly to this uh, Bactrian. Royal horse, noble horse, sorry. Levy is going down here. Uh, Soke Equites should be going down. I'm just continuing to, to try to attack his Syrian archers. I don't want them to support the fight in any way. Here you can see some levy fire coming in, hitting my guys. So this Bactrian noble horse is going to go down, but not before it gets into these Syrian archers and inflicts some casualties on them. So when I have so much cavalry, I think it's fine to sacrifice some of them in order to gain an advantage. And over here, this unit is just going to get massacred. But I want to... Uh, over here, the reason I'm not pulling out is I would take so many casualties anyway from just pulling out. I want to get him into these Syrian archers and levies, and I want him to do some uh, friendly fire here, inflict some casualties on his own guys, because there's a lot of fire coming in here. I think my opponent is panicking slightly, because uh, all of his skirmishers are dying here. Syrian archers going down, but I have to pull out because these auxiliary infantry are coming into support. So this allows my... Uh, my um, Horse archers to get some more shots in on his general. And his general is starting to waver, not dead yet, but he will be soon. And now I've managed to disorganize his army fairly well. He's still going to push with his infantry, but his infantry has no support, basically no support now. His cavalry wings are almost decimated. 
he has some units left here. Uh, a lot of his uh, units that could deal with my uh, elephants also went down. So now I'm just going to pull away while shooting at these Soki Equites. And in case I'm not able to um, kill them with fire alone, I'm going to send these guys in to charge them when my guys inevitably get caught in the woods here. So you can see a lot of his guys are dying. And here I could have tried to skirmish them away, but I just stopped them and started shooting because I was going to get a rear charge here very soon. But this small cav unit is actually enough to make my Syrian horse archers start wavering because they have very poor morale and they got attacked in the rear. So they could have broken there, but fortunately they didn't. The Soki Equites are getting charged and so they are wavering. If you forgot the unit of levies here, Vactrian Royals were able to take care of them fairly easily. And here's the most important part of the battle. I have my elephants here, my eastern spears as sacrifici sacrificial units, and the eastern slingers are going to get attack orders on the center Evocati soon, just to put some pressure on. I don't want to retreat too early, I want to remain a bit aggressive, and now I can bring up my horse here to uh, take care of the rest of his levees and his uh, Syrian archers. Just these, this one unit, um, depleted bodyguard and depleted Soki Equites. So already the plan is working fairly well, uh, inflicting some casualties in this Evocati cohort. The massed fire is actually taking them down fairly quickly, but this is six units pouring all their shots into them. So I have to retreat with my slingers. I'm moving my elephants over here, because I see his uh, Soki Equites moving around. And I'm also pulling out my back to Royal Cavalry, so this unit is very dead indeed. Over here, his general starts to waver. I'm shooting, uh, pouring some more shots into him. And that's his general shattered. He's going to leave the battlefield. Shameful display. I think the general was dead, actually. Yeah, general was dead. And so this unit of cavalry is going to disintegrate. And now I'm just using my spears as a speed bump. I'm sending them in. They don't get any kills, and I'm just dying really quickly. But they are uh, they, ma they are uh, do making it so that I can get my guys into a better position over here, holding these guys for a little while, and they enable me to swing my elephants around here. Now here I'm thinking, okay, should I pull away my elephants and not risk taking fire from uh, the Syrian archers? Well, yeah, I'm going to do that to begin with. First, I'm going to go for a charge on his skirmishers here, uh, push them back. Here I'm shooting at the rear of his auxiliary infantry with my uh, horse skirmishers. And although they have good armor, they're going to go down fairly quickly. Uh, Leves going down here. Syrian archers is able to pull them out, charge his uh, remaining Soki Equites. They're going down. And here I have to pull out my back to Royal Guard. And now I just, I'm, just ta I'm just taking a gamble because I'm thinking, okay, if his Syrian archers manage to make my elephants run amok here, then that's going to do a lot more damage to his guys than mine because I really don't have any important forces here. So I'm going to take that gamble, then I'm going to uh, take out the rest of his levees, pull out these Bactrian boils. Uh, Eastern spears are all dead. They got 9 kills actually, so uh, <laughs> pretty nice. But here we go, elephants are running amok, but in a pretty safe place. And it's fine, they can run amok all they want here, because they're going to smash these Evocati that aren't braced, and here we go. Kills, kills, kills. So now my opponent is very disorganized, and this is what my shock cavalry has been waiting for. Um, now I'm going to be able to smash depleted units, I'm going to shoot these Evocati in the rear. They don't much like that. And here, glory charge by my uh, back turn Royal Cavalry, which is going to take care of these uh, auxiliary infantry pretty quickly. My elephant still running amok over there. That's the end of those units. Avocati going down quite nicely. Uh, my elephants came back from uh, routing way over, or from uh, going amok way over there. I'm going to disengage my cavalry, run away, and he had a first cohort, okay. So, Evocati and first cohort, maybe it was hidden at the beginning, or maybe I missed it. So, sending my cavalry away here, just want a safe zone where my uh, elephants can operate unimpeded. So, these eastern spears came back and they are going to charge this unit of auxiliary Syrian archers. Over here, I'm going to charge the... Uh, Evocati cohort on the move, conserve my missiles, and bang, that's the end of that unit. Yep. 
Eastern Spear, so I charged that unit of auxiliary infantry with my back trained royals, and they are getting quite a lot of kills now. Charging in the Eastern Spears just to give them something to do. Getting uh, a few kills on the Syrian archers, nothing major. Now I'm able to bring back my skirmishers. Horse archers are almost depleted, but I can leave them there as a threat. And here I'm going to pull out my uh, back turn royal. Uh, back to Royal Cavalry, but they got caught, so I'm going to give them the order again. Here, I'm going to send in my elephants. They're going to do a lot of damage to this first cohort because they are moving, not braced in the slightest. So, rampaging through them here. But the elephants did kind of stop, so I have to continue giving them attack orders so they can move through this unit. And here we go, smashing through that unit. And here he's charging, I don't know if that was the best plan. It's going to allow me to plow through all of his units here, including these uh, auxiliary Syrian archers. And now they're running amok. Pretty nice place to run amok. Right in between his guys here. So now he has to deal with that while having cavalry all around him. I'm going to try my hand at some cycle charging. It's going to turn them around, but they aren't going to be braced, and so... Look at that charge. Wow. And that was against Evocati, so I'm quite quite convinced now that uh, under the right conditions, and it was, this was even in the forest, under the right conditions and managed well, then Shock Cab can be very effective. Indian War Elephants are starting to die here, not before getting some more kills at least. And um, something weird happened. Uh, one of the elephants ran away, and it's not going to get killed. The elephants are still getting some kills here. Another charge. Bam. Great charge by my uh, backroom royals. Kills are going up fairly nicely. And here the slingers are moving in for the death blow. So over here as well, charging in with some back to noble horse. Only melee cavalry, so not as effective on the charge as the... Um, back turn royal cavalry but still decent units and here I'm uh, my elef elephant came back from uh, routing so I'm going to try to send it in but um, but um, it's exhausted so I should have waited until it was fresh so it wouldn't have the morale penalty back turn royal cav continuing to do some damage with those guys and now I just want to make him move so I can get in flanking shots on his guys my general over there tired but uh, ready for some more action and the elephant has had enough and is just lumbering home to India. So they are in the forest, not the best place for me to be shooting at them but uh, this mast fire is still going to cause some damage. While he's on the move, it opens him up on charges. And I really want him to go into Testudo here, because uh, if he goes into Testudo, a cavalry charge will be extremely devastating. And there it is. So, cavalry, get in there. Oh, yeah. My cavalry is going to charge straight into his uh, Testudo. Evocati here, getting a nice charge. Makes them waver instantly. These guys have had enough. The army is losing, they're being surrounded, watching units rout all around them, pouring fire into them, and they've had enough of the battle. Two Evocati cohorts just routed. So I was pretty happy about that battle. I, my micro wasn't uh, stellar, it never is, but I was able to neutralize his skirmishers fairly uh, well and um, able to use the elephants to some effect at least. Uh, horse archers did okay, <laughs> eastern spearmen are eastern spearmen, they are just going to die. But the composition was five Evocati and one first cohort, so that was it. Um, I think. I would have had a more difficult time if my opponent, instead of these levies, if he brought more infantry, and maybe some triarii instead of auxiliary infantry and levies, that could have been a, that could have worked. Four okay quotes, fine, uh, but um, going for levies, it 
it can work if you're up against elephants and they are used carelessly but against this type of army it's going to be extremely difficult with this uh, small amount of infantry but I quite like that background build I tried I uh, hope you find it interesting to watch and I'll see you again